to form with the traditional one million cups format. We have two presenters this morning, and they're both all the way over from Orlando. So first up, we have Josh Zeppis from Broke Is No Joke Enterprises. So please uh, help me give Josh a warm welcome to the stage. Once upon a joy, Tommy, a nice boy, thanked his mom for a toy. Mom, finally annoyed. Honey, I'm not made of money, she says with her million dollar smile and her priceless style. No one told her you could see her value for a mile. Myth one, Tommy none. Pastor Paul, a servant all, stands up tall, reminds us in the big hall that money is the root of all evil. Whoa, pops. I don't mean to debate as you pass around that collection plate, but you missed again as Timothy 6.10, when it's only the money we revel in. That's when we let the devil in. Myth two, God help you. But Tommy's growing up, what will he be? Remember, son, money can't make you happy as if working for free with a path to glee. Don't you see? Happiness is a choice. It's not about the Rolls Royce. But why should fulfillment only apply to our soul and not also to our bulk? Myth three will keep us unhappy for eternity. Sweet Carly took the hook. Money isn't important was the book that was said to her, read to her, fed to her. 80K of debt later, she's a minimum wager. She's real sour because she's trading her million dollar smile for 10 an hour. Don't think cash is king? Then why are we killing ourselves just to make a living? And we still can't fund the children's wing, or for that matter, anything. Sorry, Carly. Myth four, it's got all of us poor. Will Tommy's mature. He's in the herd. He's indentured, almost interred. It all came true as he said anew. More money, more problems. Come on, man. Don't tell me you hate the ability to create stability. While we struggle to pay for urgent needs, the wealthy don't have emergencies. I'm not saying money is always the answer, but it can treat the cancer. Myth five, it's dripping us half alive. So what money myth did you grow up with? Which excuse were you given to justify barely living? Hey, maybe it was like me, that money doesn't grow on trees. Please, is that what you believe? Stop smoking the weeds and things, son. No wonder you're rotten, because money is made of cotton, and there are more dollars out there than leaves. So let's say vibes the lie, because the truth is that the truth isn't. What matters is whether beliefs help us into the wealthy class or leave us with a poor ass mind. Because if you think money's bad in any way, then you've been had in every way. Money's simply a tool to set us free, which makes us the fool when we don't see that the cage and the key are the same thing. Because something they won't share is that to earn a million dollars, you gotta first become a millionaire. <laughs> what am I saying? You don't care. You'll just tell me money isn't everything. But then again, neither is air. Yet without both, we're dead, broke. <laughs> and that's no joke. Last question, in the story you are still in, is money the hero or the villain? Hey, let's upend this trend and become money's friend. Because your relationship is poor, and you're never going to find the door. Good morning, boys. Good morning. How's everyone doing in this fine, free country of ours? Awesome, yeah. By the way, <laughs> we use freedom a lot. What is freedom? What do we, we use the word, we toss it around, we use it. But what are we really talking about when we say freedom? Isn't it just control? Self-control? Doing what we want, how we want, when we want, why we want, with whom we want, right? And what do we need? What's the ingredients for true freedom? So in our society, if you truly want to be free, what do we need? Financial independence. Thank you. We need money. That's right. We need money. We need time. I'll give you three things. Money, time, which is life. If you have no life, you can't be free. And then the third one is called identity, which is our self-belief. It's the one thing that lets us keep the money and the time long term. So how many people have all the money they need, all the time they want, to have all the freedom they desire? Not many, guys, and certainly not enough. So how is it in a free country so few of us are actually free? Hold that thought. We'll get back to that. You're probably wondering who this handsome guy is up here. Uh, actually, I've never been accused of that. Just kidding. Uh, I'm Josh Zephis. I am a freedom fighter. I'm a hyper creator. I'm a wordsmith with Broke is No Joke, the movement towards true freedom. Uh, what exactly is that? It's the exposure of the truth you're not supposed to know about all those things you care about the most. Your money, your health, your relationships, your career, and how the truth about those things can actually set you free. Uh, <clears throat> now, I wasn't always a freedom fighter. This is important to me because, well, before I became this, I was, I, um, I did 20 years. 20 years of staring at gray walls, uh, 20 years of being my best behavior. You guys know what I'm talking about? 
Yeah. Yeah. I was in corporate America. Corporate America. I was, and by the way, I don't have a corporate America sob story for you. I was actually successful. I climbed the ladder. End of my career, I was an engineer for 20 years. End of my career, I was multi, multi six figure stock options, parking space, like the, the exact perfect portrait. And then one day, everything I thought was true turned out not to be true. Everything I thought was right wasn't so right. I wasn't all that happy. I surely wasn't as wealthy as I wanted to be. And I wasn't free. So I escaped. Now, this didn't happen overnight. This took time, and there's a series of wake-up calls that occurred. Let me give you an example. After 18 years of max funding my 401k, you guys heard of 401ks? My retirement plan, I found out it was never gonna retire me. Well, okay, <laughs> at least according to this thing called math, right, mathematics, and it wasn't gonna work. Uh, you think I was mad, by the way? Yeah, I was mad. But you know what pissed me off? When I found out it wasn't supposed to retire me. It wasn't designed to work. It never started as a retirement plan. I started learning all of this stuff, and I'm like, this is incredible. Hopefully I didn't surprise anyone here today. I didn't come here to like ruin any hopes and dreams and like <laughs> hurt any feelings. That's not the purpose. But can you imagine if we had this level of awareness in every important aspect of life, how our choices could be different and hence our results? This is what Broke is No Joke is about. It's not about convincing or telling or saying, I know better or we know better. None of that. This is just asking the questions no one's asking. In 18 years, I never asked the question, is this thing going to work? Can I just do the math and just see if it's going to work or not? Never did it. So it's the questions that no one's asking to get the answers we all want. And uh, <clears throat> we're doing this through hyper-creation. We're doing this through creating a lot of content. Uh, we're creating, we're writing books, uh, spoken word, videos, articles, performances. We're working on, a, on a, not a screenplay, but a, an actual play uh, right now. And we're talking about all those critical things that schools don't teach anymore. All those things that parents don't know. And especially those things that big industry out there doesn't want you to find out. They sure as heck hope you never find out. Uh, so the, our monetization path, this is a, by, by the way, this is a new movement. So our monetization path right now is a few different levels. On October 23rd, we're releasing a 100-day Escape the Rat Race program that takes someone who's stuck in corporate America like I was and takes them through that journey. It's based on cage theory. I think that's up here. Yeah. Condition, abandonment of greatness eternally. The premise of cage theory is basically we're born for greatness. We're born with every characteristic, every trait we need to succeed in this world, and we actually have to learn how to fail. We're taught how to lose. The good news is if you're taught how to lose, you can forget how to lose, right? So it's that theory. So it's the, the journey from birth to true freedom. Uh, so we're releasing that. We have uh, some master classes coming out next summer on the Freedom Series, one on money, one on time, and one on how to raise identity. Uh, and then we're going to end the next year is the Netflix of personal development, a mastermind accountability uh, society, so to speak. And the same price as a Netflix, 15 bucks a month, 97 for the year, and help people get into a different set of associations. You guys realize associations are everything. You probably heard that before. And creating that environment that lets people succeed, that expects people to succeed. Uh, so where's all this going? All this is going here. Mission 2025, by October 3rd, 2025, our mission is to help 1% of corporate America reach the next level of freedom. What that looks like is doubling their income. That's gonna be our measurement. Not making them millionaires, by the way, not making them even 100,000 heirs, just doubling their income. When we do this, it doesn't sound like a lot, I understand like 1%, not a big deal. When we do this, we will create $70.6 trillion of new money, new income in this country per year. That's over three times the current US GDP. Just let that sink in for a second. That's 1% of corporate America. Imagine how much potential is sitting right now in cubicle farms, right? And if that image makes you think of the matrix and all the people they're sucking energy from, from the matrix, right? It's actually very similar, uh, but we're not gonna go there. So I need help to do this. I need help on how to create a movement. Uh, I want a movement, I want a movement of, of people, energy, ideas, uh, teachers, counselors, parents, old and young, tall and short, fat and skinny, cats and dogs, like everyone who's willing to go with me and ring this bell and get this word out and us growing the way we need to grow. Because my friends, failure's not an option. If we don't grow past our Crap conditioning, past our stress, our issues, our hate, our anger, all the stuff we're seeing, especially coming out today, 
Failure is going to be a guarantee. So life's been a blessing unto me. I want to be a blessing unto others. We're moving forward. If you're interested in, in joining this movement and being part of it and learning more, please come talk to me or, or Max over here. And I appreciate you guys. Thanks for having me. And that's it. Thank you.